Hello everyone, today um, I will be doing some of the missions mostly because they do give you a lot of XP but nothing changes about anything else. Today I'll be answering one of you guys' questions, some of them stuff stable, Fortnite, Warrior Cats. Last time I didn't get to tell you guys my favorite books from all the Warrior Cats series they have so I'm going to go ahead and need it for you. I'll go ahead and answer that question again. Um, for the first series, the prophecies begin, I'm probably, like, for the Into the Wild, Fire and Ice, Force of Secret, um, I'm gonna have to say I don't know on this one. I do like Into the Wild well, Rising Storm was also good, so those are, like, it's in between right there. For the new prophecy, Midnight, Moonrise, those things... Um, I don't know. I haven't read it in a while, but for prophecy, the the blah power of three, I'm gonna have to say, ah, uh, long shadows. I think maybe my favorite one. Long shadows or eclipse for sure. Alright, then for Almost Stars, the more recent one I watched, Last Hope, I mean, Red, Last Hope is gonna be my favorite. There's a lot of things that go on, and it's very exciting to read. Dawn of the Clans, I have not read yet, but I'm gonna read it soon. And Vision of the Shadows? Um, I'm going to have to say. Ah. Uh, this is her choice. <laughs> Maybe the raging storm or river of fire. I think one of those two. And then the broken codes, it's not all out yet. So from the ones I read, like Lost Stars, The Silent Flower Real Shadows and Darkness Within. I'm gonna have to say, hmm, Darkness Within, there's a lot of things that go on and it's super exciting to see what happens next. For the Place of No Stars, it comes out, let me see, um, I think it comes out on April 8th, like I think I said that in my last book, I mean, video, I'm not completely sure, but I think that's when it comes out, it does, and there is two books, I think, that come out in April as well, I mean, that come out in September, one is a super edition, Leopard Stars, uh... I forgot. I keep forgetting everything. Ugh, why can't I think anymore? I have been reading a lot, so I don't know why I can't. I. Well, um, let. I looked up. This is later. I came back after, and I looked up, and the book comes. You can pre order, um, the Broken Code, it comes out on April 6th, which I'm very excited for. Anyways, back to the thing. <laughs> for Super Editions, I also have not read them all yet. But for the ones I've read, Firestar's Quest, SkyClan's Destiny, Bramblestar Storm, Hawkwing's Journey, School Flight Talk, and I'm currently reading Tiger Heart's Shadow. I really liked, I'm gonna say, I really like School Fights Hope because it is, a, there's a lot of new development of characters and a lot of exciting things gone. That's why I like exciting things. Mangas, I liked probably Grey Stripes Adventure because. Gray stripe is in it, and I I like gray stripe. So, <laughs> uh, 
Um, for now, villas, I've almost said them all. There are, there's two, but I'm reading one right now, and then one more. From the ones I have read, which is the Shadows of the Clans, Legend of the Clans, Path of a Warrior, Warrior Spirit, Spirit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say from each book if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose Ravenpaw. Maple Tree was kind of interesting because I had no idea who he is, but Ravenpaw's farewell, probably Spiderleaf's, um. Uh, Spotted Leaf's Heart, I think it was. Um, then I would have to say Red Tail's Debt and Debt, and then probably Public Shine's Kits is what I'm gonna have to say for that. Um, but yeah, okay. The next question is still stable related. <laughs> this one is: Are you gonna do daily training times now? So. I'm thinking about doing it since it is spring break. I might just do it for all of spring break right now. And then I may stop when school comes. But then when I get another break, I may do it again. I am going to go on a trip in the summer. So I may not be able to post talking over the videos. I may do videos of me just putting in subtitles and stuff like that. But... Yeah, okay, the next question is also sustainable related, and it is, when you train horses, which, how do you choose which horses you train? I usually train the highest levels to the lowest levels, so right now this is why I'm training Lil Sifra, which is also known as Brittany. Um, and she's level 14, so she's almost level 15. I'm very excited. Hint, hint, I'm going to level up today. <laughs> um, uh, in this video. <laughs> then next I will choose the next highest level, which, since I'm filming this, my voiceover after, which is going to be Riverda Riverdale, River, and she is level 10. I mean... 11, and and then there's a bunch of old 10s, and I think 6, 7s, and 5s, and 4s, and 3s, and 2s, and 1s. Yeah, I make sure of a lot of things. <laughs> the next one is a warrior cat related. When will you start working on your movie, and when? Wh what will be your posting schedule for that, and how would you do it? So, I cannot stop my the warrior movie until I have all my models made for the cats I will be needing and I'm not I'm kind of behind on that but I will be going more I'll be doing more uh, of that soon I have recently finished around three three customs from the last video I have made um, as you can see right now I'm kind of failing in <laughs> the races but yeah and how I would do it is I would usually video one episode or maybe chapter or something at a time and then each episode may be around 10-12 minutes and then I'll make a movie and put it all together all the episodes together if you guys want to watch it like that and then I'll start working on the customs for the second book and the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and yeah it goes on like that for a while um <laughs> I may go ahead, also make the Super Edition Money Steps Love between the two books. I won't be needing any customs that I have not already made, so it'll be so much easier to make it. But yeah, and for scenes, the scenes are going to be really easy to set up. I'm not gluing anything down, and I can just move them around freely for everything I need. Next question is what? What's your day? What time of day do you usually post your videos? I usually make my videos in the morning, edit them around after lunchtime, like right at the time now. It's two forty-seven. I'm making, I'm like editing this video, and that I'll post it, and it may be around three, three thirty, four every day. I post, 
It's kind of a mystery because I may post it earlier and I may not. I do at least 30 minutes of training every day because I don't want to stay at a screen like 8 hours just trying to level up. I try to level up at least a level a day, maybe two if they're much, like, you know, not as, if they're smaller, it actually takes less races to level them up. But, yeah. So, the next question is, when you level up a horse, do you change outfits? I usually do, mostly because green doesn't look good on every horse. <laughs> or I just change it mostly because I want to do something different. Or because I had an outfit that I made for a horse. But, yeah. Next is, will you ever buy the Mystic set? And... Will you, when will you, when do you post your update videos? So, um, for the first question, yes, well, when I post, when I do post my update videos, I usually would post them Wednesday through Friday, so Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, um, only if I had something else I had to do on Friday, I would post it Saturday. If I had something to do on Saturday, I post on Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. I mean, is Sunday, which is also Easter, but doesn't mean I won't post because I will post as well. Um, but yeah, I. Oh my God, I'm so close to leveling up. <laughs> okay, gonna have to keep on doing another race. It took me two days to level this guy up from level 14 from the very start to level 15. So, it doesn't actually take that much XP to level up a horse when it's level 14. I just played for 30 minutes both days. So, yeah, it's going to be easier to do that. Alright, the next and I think last question, if it takes long, is a warrior cat question. How, many, how much time does it take to make your cat from start to beginning? It would probably take around four days, mostly because if you want to make the clay, it has to dry, which takes three days, then you paint it, and then you have to let the base coat stay done, and then you paint on the details of the eye, and then it will be done. So maybe three days, depending on how long I paint. <laughs> but yeah, so around three to four days. And as you can see, Little Surfer, Brittany, has leveled up to level 15, and this video has come to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you tomorrow on Easter. Bye, everyone!